now i am going to discuss with you historical background and purpose of prerogative writs in england the prerogative writs played vital role in maintaining and upholding the rights and liberties of common man and in providing effective safeguards against the arbitrary actions of public authorities england may प्रोरोगेटिव रिट्स ने जो स्टूडेंट जो सिटीजन्स हैं उनके राइट्स को बड़ा प्रोटेक्ट किया है उनकी लिबर्टीज को बड़ा प्रोटेक्ट किया है और जो आर्बिट्रेरी एक्शन ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है उनसे उनको महफूज किया है एज पर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान 1973, सेवेंटी थ्री द जुडिशियल रिव्यू इज द इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल सिस्टम and without it there will be no government according to rule of law pakistan mein as per the constitution of pakistan 1973 judicial review jo hai usko badi significance hasil hai aur uske bagair jo hai ek rule of law ke tahat government ka jo existence hai usko kabool nahi kiya ja sakta dear students judicial review is basic and fundamental for the maintenance of democratic state judicial review is the unquestionable part of our judicial and constitutional system now let's discuss jurisdiction of high court as regard judicial review dear students article 199 of the constitution of pakistan 1973 confers powers on high court to make orders on the writ petition of an aggrieved party the article intends to enable the high court to control executive so as to bring it in conformity with the law whenever executive acts in violation of the law an appropriate order may be granted by court to make the citizen relieved from the illegal act of executive now i'm going to share with you the meaning of the term writ as per the black's law dictionary as per black's law dictionary writ means a court's written order in the name of a state or other competent legal authority commanding the addressee to do or refrain from doing सम स्पेसिफाइड एक्ट यहां पर दो अल्फाज जो हैं वो बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट हैं आइए उनके मीनिंग्स को समझते हैं कमांडिंग से मुराद है गिविंग ऑर्डर और जो एड्रेसी है इसको रिसीवर हम कहते हैं डियर स्टूडेंट्स द पावर्स एंड जूरिस्डिक्शन ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट कन्फर्ड बाई आर्टिकल वन डबल नाइन कैनॉट बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड थ्रू एनी लॉ which is not the part and parcel of the constitution yahan par bhi aapke samne do lafz aa rahe hain ke jinke meanings jo hain aapke liye janna zaruri hain pehla jo lafz hai that is jurisdiction it means field of work and dusra lafz jo hai wo hai confer it means to bestow dear students high court and supreme court can issue writs in the nature of habeas corpus rate of mandamus rate of prohibition rate of co warranto and rate of certio rari jurisdiction of high court under the article is meant to provide expeditious and efficacious remedy in a case where illegality impropriety and flagrant violation of law regarding impugned action is apparent and can be established without any comprehensive inquiry into complicated ticklish controversial and disputed fact dear students article 199 casts an obligation on the high court to act in aid of law protect the rights of the citizen within the framework of the constitution against the infringement of law and the constitution by the executive authorities strike a rational compromise and a fair balance 
the right of citizens and the actions of the state functionaries claim to be in the larger interest of the society the article is intended to able the high court to control executive action so as to bring it in conformity with the law dear students see this baat hai ke jo high courts ko powers di gayi hai article 199 ke tahat inka purpose ye hai ki agar executive actions jo hai against fundamental right hai to executive actions ko judicial review ke zariye se control kiya ja sake